Hi, welcome to Clinic Sources Micro Training Videos. Today we're going to talk about setting up email at the facility level through SMTP settings and creating a two factor authentication PIN number for the password. I'm going to go ahead and log into the Clinic Source Training Environment. Setting up email at the facility level is a requirement for utilization of the patient portal, as well as give you the ability to fax, email, or dispatch documents. I'm going to go to Setup Facilities. You will notice that I do not have any credentialing set up in the facility area at the top of the screen. In documentation, as an example, if we look at the icon tray at the top, you'll notice that there is no email button allowing me to email out from a patient's chart. Let's go ahead and get this established. I'm going to go to Setup Facilities, and I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address, clinicsourcetraining at gmail.com. I'm going to go ahead and just copy that, paste it in as my username. Where the password is, I'm going to go ahead and remove any dots that you may see. The server and port information can be found two ways. Now we've tried to make it convenient and listing the most commonly used servers and port settings in the user guide. So if I navigate to help user guide on the left hand side, you'll see that there's common SMTP server and port settings. When I select that, we did list them for you alphabetically by email host and you'll notice Gmail is here. The server is smtp.gmail.com, utilizes ports 465, and for SSL, the answer or option would be yes. So this information, I'm going to enter into facilities. The server, port, and SSL, since it said yes, I'm going to go ahead and check the box. Now we have to work on our password. The password is not your Gmail password or the email password. In this case, it's going to be a two-factor authenticated PIN number. So let's go ahead and walk through the process of creating that. For the purpose of today's training, you'll notice at the top of my screen, I am already have my uh, Google account logged into, and you can see that in the upper right-hand corner, my little initials there. I'm going to go ahead and select my initial and I'm going to manage my Google account. Off on the left hand side, I'm going to select security. If I scroll down a little bit, it'll say signing into Google and two step verification is currently off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that feature on. I'll select it by clicking on it. Get started. So it's going to set up the phone. My phone. It'll text your code. Just enter the code you receive as a text. It worked. And turn it on. Now that two-step verification is turned on, up at the top of the screen, you'll see like a little left arrow pointing to exit two-step verification. And I have a new feature under two-step verification is app passwords. So what I'm going to want to do is create an app password for clinic source. I'm going to select app passwords. Next, select an app. It's going to be other for a custom name. I'll just give it a name. That way I'll know what app is utilizing the password. Select generate. And you'll see there's a pin number. This one happens to be alpha in nature. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight the pin number in the yellow box. I'll do control C to copy it. Go back into clinic source tab. And where it says SMTP password, I'm going to paste that password. Once it's entered into clinic source, simply click the blue disk at the top left and you'll notice a blue circle spinning on your screen. That is us trying to authenticate the password that we just generated. 
Once it's completed the authentication process, the blue circle will go away. I'm gonna go ahead and log out of ClinicSource and log right back in, just so you can see the change. If I go into documentation, you'll notice at the top of the screen to the right of the printer, there's an email icon allowing me to fax or email documents. This concludes setting up a two-factor authentication utilizing a Gmail account. Thank you so much.